Hey spooky guys, my name's Oriane and welcome or welcome back to my channel Rock Cheap Beauty here on YouTube. If you are a returning spooky ghost and part of my spooky ghost family then thank you so so much for coming back, for clicking on this video, all your likes, comments, shares and the fact that you are subscribed to my channel it means so so much to me and I will never be able to say thank you um, enough times to be able to say how much I appreciate every single one of you so thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new here, my name is Oriane, it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you are well and I hope you're having a wonderful and spooky day wherever you are in the world. Welcome to my channel. I do all sorts of content on this channel from beauty to fashion to lifestyle to some spooky bits, mental health, so there's definitely something for everybody. If you would like to become part of my spooky ghost family here on YouTube, then all you have to do is hit that big red subscribe button, click that bell icon and you'll be notified of all my future content. Um, I hope you enjoy my content and I hope that is as much of a pleasure for me to meet you as it is for you to meet me. So without any further ado, don't forget to smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new and of course welcome and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get down to it. So for today's video, which is my last video of 2021, how crazy is that? This year I feel like it's gone so so quick for me personally, there's definitely been ups and downs this year, um, definitely been a roller coaster of emotions and lots of new learning curves on my YouTube journey, I've also met some incredible people. But anyway, without me blabbering on, today's video is going to be a 2021 favourites video. So we've got some beauty, we've got some fashion, we've got some makeup palettes, um, some makeup items, skincare, uh, some of my favourite YouTubers. Um, TV series, uh, music favourites, so this is going to be a long one, so hopefully you guys will watch it till the end, it would really really mean the world if you could, as it really really does help my little channel grow, and if you can share me out that would be amazing, so yeah, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, share me out, and let's get on with it. So the first item and first category I'm going to be talking about is makeup this is not for any particular reason it's just the first thing that i have picked up of, amongst all the things beside me down here that you guys can't see <laughs> so this is the first item and this is the makeup revolution soph x super spice eyeshadow palette i've mentioned this on my channel before but this is such a beautiful palette i will try and not blind you guys but there are the colors I absolutely love Soph's channel. It's uh, Soph Does Life. I'll link it in the description if you're interested. Sorry about the dirty mirror. My makeup is disgusting <laughs> and really need to clean. But I absolutely love the colours. The fact that we've got dark colours like colour shimmers and some really bright drops of colour like the purple and the blue and the green. I love them colours. And obviously you can see that I've definitely used these two as well. I haven't touched the white, which is really unusual for me. But yeah, I absolutely love this palette and you can buy this from Revolution website and Superdrug, I will put a link down below if you are interested. So the second makeup um, item and my other favourite eyeshadow palette is also from Revolution. Revolution are an incredible brand and Revolution if you are watching I would love to work with you one day that would be incredible. So this is the of course if anybody knows me you can probably guess what this is. This is the Revolution Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas eyeshadow palette and of course it has Jack looking absolutely adorable on there and it also has the Jack logo on the back and this is a very very well used and messy palette as you guys will see so we have some more neutrals this side and also a bright red and a bright orange and some yellows and then we've got the more wacky colours on this side I actually received this last Christmas um, but very very late um, as it did come very very late in the post so I did actually get this uh, 31st of December so basically January 1st so uh, yeah I absolutely love this palette it's probably one of my favorite palettes of all time and like I said it's one of my most used so if I'm not using this one it is normally the Soph palette so they are my eyeshadow um, makeup favorites I guess so the next makeup items I'm going to talk about are the give me a second guys the jeffree star liquid lipsticks and the lipstick that i have here which is one of the pink standard jeffree star bullet lipsticks 
So first of all, I actually received this from Shanice Reviews. Um, so shout out to you if you're watching. Thank you so, so much. It's actually what I have on today. So it's kind of like a brownie grey sort of colour. It comes up more brown on my hand, but obviously on my lips it's a slightly different colour. So it's this brownie grey colour here. And it is called Grave Digger. Shanice actually mentioned this in a video of hers and I was literally obsessed with it and she said she was going to give it away. So I actually bought this off her and she sent me loads of other goodies as well. If you want to see that video, I will link it down below of me receiving gifts from Shanice. She's also done one on her channel of me sending stuff to her. But anyway, that is the first lipstick. And the other two lipsticks are the liquid lipsticks from Jeffree Star. So I have one that's limited edition in the Christmas packaging which I got a while ago from eBay, I think. I don't know if they still sell this colour. And this is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mistletoe. So I'm going to put a swatch on my hand first for you guys. So it's like a very bright but glittery green. I absolutely love this. You've probably seen this in my thumbnails on YouTube. I absolutely love this colour. And it has just the white packaging with the stars and also Jeffree Star's name on. But I absolutely love this and again I think it is limited edition so if you want to get this you will probably have a job finding it. But again if I can I will link it below. And my final lipstick by Jeffree Star is the Jeffree Star Vela Liquid Lipstick in the shade Weirdo. So this is a black lipstick as you guys know I love good black lipstick as I am a goth if you couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, it's just a jet black lipstick and it's probably the best jet black lipstick I've ever, ever tried. And again, this is in the shade Weirdo. This is not limited edition. You can get this on Jeffree Star's website, also on Beauty Bay and maybe on eBay and stuff like that if someone's selling it. So definitely check this out. Again, I will link it below. So the next makeup item I have is the... Elf Cosmetics 16 Owl Wear Camo Concealer and it's in a matte finish. And I've got the shade Fair Rose. So if I didn't say this is by Elf. And this is actually an incredible dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. But miles, miles cheaper. The Tarte Shape Tape is around £15 to £20, I believe. And I really can't afford that. So I managed to find a dupe. And this is around £3 or £4. So it is incredible. It's very, very light, but obviously, as you can see, I'm very, very pale. I have a very, very good shade range, so that is it there. Once you blend it out, it's kind of got the colour that I've got on my face, so absolutely love this concealer and definitely a staple in my makeup collection. So the next items I'm going to mention are probably sort of skincare and moisturisers. So when I'm taking my makeup off, I have very, very eczema and sensitive prone skin so i have to be very very careful as to what i use but this stuff i have here is the body shop chamomile scrumptious cleansing butter with chamomile and shea butter extracts and it's also suitable for sensitive skin like i said so it comes in this tin hopefully you guys can see that and it's just a as you can imagine like a balmy color as you can see i've totally used this up um, I could probably scrape a little bit more out if I could, but obviously I'm going to return it to the shop so they can recycle it and reuse it if they wish. Um, as far as I know, the body shop do do that and they really like the whole recycling packaging and stuff. But this stuff is absolutely incredible. You can put this all over your face. You can literally scrub your eyes till they practically disappear. I probably wouldn't, but <laughs> you know the expression. Um, scrub till your hands rub out or whatever it is. <laughs> But yeah, this stuff is absolutely incredible. You can put it over your eyes. You can literally scrub your face and it's so gentle. And afterwards, your skin feels so, so good. So, so soft. It doesn't irritate my eczema. As I did just say, I have really sensitive skin. Um, dry skin and oily skin are all different parts of my face. But this stuff is incredible and any skin type can use it. I will link it down below if I remember. So the next moisturizer I have is actually a fairly new one, but I've been using it for about two months. So if you class that as new, then great. If you don't, then fair enough. And this is the Boots Glow Pineapple Sleep Mask. This is basically a moisturiser that you put on at night. And it's an overnight and it smells 
incredible and it literally does smell of like pineapple sorbet if you've had pineapple sorbet ice creams or lemon sorbet ice creams it smells just like that and every time i use it i kind of want to eat it but you know <laughs> so so good probably one of the best night moist night moisturizers that i have ever used so if i can again i will link it down below so the last moisturizing item i guess is the soap and glory all right smoothie in shower moisturizer now i get seriously dry skin all year round i get oily skin on my face but i have dry skin everywhere else because i have extra prone skin like i said and i always always tell myself that i'm gonna moisturize and then i forget and then i get annoyed and i'm just no good at remembering to be honest i mean who wants to stand there moisturizing your body for like 20 minutes and i can't stand moisturizers that can't sink in and they're all sticky but anyway this is the soap and glory all right smoothie in shower moisturizer and if it's in the shower i can do it just have to wash my body and this stuff smells incredible it smells and has fragrances of grapefruit and rhubarb and it's also infused with brazil nut oil and avocado oil and this stuff makes your skin so so soft and this stuff is always on offer so i actually got this for three pound fifty i believe and it's not an offer it's around four or five pound which is still really good if you ask me but this stuff is absolutely incredible it wakes you up it keeps you moisturized it's great in the summer and all year round especially in the winter from when you have really dry skin that needs hydrating so yeah absolutely love this and again i'll link it down below so the next items um i have is actually a primer and this is again from elf i'm really really loving elf at the moment and have loved elf for a while so i have all sorts of combination skin like i said and this is the elf poreless putty primer it looks odd and mine looks kind of gross but it's like a putty and it rubs in and it completely disappears but this masks your pores it stops oil makes your skin nice and smooth it makes your makeup look incredible in my opinion I mean, I probably look terrible, but, you know, I absolutely love this primer and it literally keeps your makeup stuck to your face all day. So I will link it below. So the next items I have are setting sprays. So one I received today, but it's from the same brand. It's just a different uh, formula, I guess. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray long lasting makeup setting spray that lasts for 16 hours and i can definitely say i absolutely love this this is the original sorry about the dirty packaging i'll link this down below but this is the travel size as i don't tend to get the really big sizes of setting sprays as i don't use it all the time as i don't wear makeup all the time apart from when i film really but this is yeah like i said this is the urban decay all nighter setting spray and this lasts up to 16 hours and this is absolutely incredible so i've recently picked up um i received it today so it is from the same brand from urban decay again but they've just brought out the new urban decay all nighter ultra matte edition and like i said i have combination oily dry skin so this is meant to be really really good and it comes in slightly different packaging it's actually very very pretty it's actually in the purple packaging with the white silvery writing so i haven't actually used this yet but i'm very very excited to use this and i got both of them setting sprays off beauty bay Again, I'll link them down below. So the last sort of makeup-y items, I guess, I have um, two items for the lips and an eyeliner. So we're going to start with the eyeliner. And this, again, is from e.l.f. Like I said, I absolutely love e.l.f. And you shake it first, and it is just a very thin... Um, very thin, very jet black eyeliner. I absolutely love this. My hands are really shaky, hence why the line isn't straight. But this is a felt tip liner. I absolutely love this stuff. It's what I use for my Halloween makeup look. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, there is a shorts on that if you're interested. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this eyeliner. Probably one of the best eyeliners I've used. And it is very, very thin, which I really like because it really helps with precision. Even the line is absolutely terrible. <laughs> so yeah, I'll link it down below. So my next items are actually my last sort of makeup -y skincare items. And this is actually from Primark. So this is the PS Rose Hip Lip Polish. Exfoliates and leaves skin 
skin on your lips soft and supple so this is a little lip scrub which has little scrubby bits in it's hard to see but hopefully you guys can see that in there it's like a lip scrub as the name suggests a lip scrub <sighs> silly me but yeah this stuff is probably the best lip scrub i have ever ever used um you can make a lip scrub out of natural ingredients as well if you guys would like a short sort of video on that of natural things that i use for face masks and lip scrubs then smash that thumbs up as i know that everybody's not into the chemical side um, but this stuff is absolutely incredible and this is only about two pound which is just amazing and i will repurchase this probably forever so when i um once i've done my lip scrub obviously i use lip balm or a lip moisturizer and this is probably the best lip balm i have ever ever used and this is the palmer's cocoa butter original formula with vitamin e and this stuff is so so good if you have seriously chapped lips or dry lips or just want to keep your lips moisturized it smells of chocolate as the name suggests cocoa butter by palmer's but this stuff is absolutely incredible and i absolutely love it so again you can buy some boots super drug um Walco's, i think sell it as well if you're in the uk um possibly target in other parts of the world but definitely check this out i'll link it down below so the last item i didn't realize i had this on here still um is actually a sort of face skincare product and this is actually a charcoal scrub and mask this is also from primark the ps range this is absolutely incredible if you want a face scrub and yeah i got this for 50p um so so good and will definitely be purchased i just thought i'd leave this one unopened obviously so you guys can see the packaging but yeah absolutely love this and definitely check this out if you're in the uk so the next items are more sort of hair care and all them other sorts of things so for hair care i bit the bullet on black friday and invested in probably the best shampoo and conditioner in my opinion that i have ever ever used and this is the odaplex number four and number five so this is the odaplex number four bond maintenance shampoo and these are the uh 250 milliliter bottles you can get mini ones and you can also get really really big ones if i can somehow i will link them down below but i'm sure you can get them from look fantastic tk max lots of hair salons um but yeah this is the olaplex number four bond maintenance shampoo and this repairs strengthens and nourishes all hair types and this stuff i'm very very picky with what i use on my hair as i did actually shave my hair off three times um <laughs> but that's another story if you want to hear about that smash that thumbs up and comment down below i will be more than happy to do a story so yeah this stuff is absolutely incredible and as you can see i am getting through it but you literally need half a pea size and this stuff loves up like crazy but it is free of sls which is really really bad for your hair colorants preservatives um and any really bad chemicals this stuff just makes your hair absolutely incredible and i also bought the conditioner and this is the Olaplex number no. five bond maintenance conditioner and it claims to do the same thing and again it's in the 250 milliliter um measurement bottle and you literally put the tiniest bit on i put it on from probably about here downwards as you in my opinion you never ever put conditioner on the scalp and your hair is incredibly dry otherwise you will get greasy hair and it's just not the one really <laughs> But these two items are probably the best shampoo and conditioner and hair products I have ever, ever used. So if you haven't read up about Olaplex, I suggest you do. If you're having trouble with your hair and you want your hair to grow, these are kind of pricey. Um, but for the amount that you get and the tiny amount you have to use, I'm only a quarter of the way through these bottles. So yeah, quarter of the way through these bottles. And I will probably have these for probably for the next six months. So they are absolutely incredible and I couldn't recommend these anymore if I tried. Again, I will link them down below. So the next item is probably something you're going to be like, why would you include that in a video? And it's actually a deodorant. 
so this is the natural deodorant by wild if you guys haven't heard of wild deodorant there is a shorts on my channel but if you'd like a video about wild um feel free to let me know in the comments um, and wild if you're watching if you want to sponsor me i would love that i absolutely love your products from the bottom of my heart they're incredible so yeah this is the wild deodorant give me a second so you order a holder which is this thing here so it comes as just a holder with a lid and this is actually the pride edition that they did for pride this year so it has all of the pride colors which i think is incredible and two pound or some amount of money goes to pride and helping people who are coming out or are on the pride list or are gay lesbian by whatever you are and whatever you are you are still incredibly beautiful and i love every single one of you so yeah this is the pride case and it's rainbow i mean come on it's very cool you can actually get these personalized as well but i just got the wild one and the personalizations i think an extra pound on top which is nothing really and then you get these little inserts which are here and you get the case you pick the case and then you these are actually on a subscription service or you can just buy these singly and these are the little um pods i guess little pods packaging with the deodorant inside and this one is this is the scent pomegranate and peppercorn which is one of their christmas scents and because of my thyroid i do probably sweat more i know it's probably disgusting for some of you but i do sweat more than the average person and obviously i want a deodorant that is going to be incredible and that is going to last all day so all you do is insert it into the holder you press it down you then put take the lid off and then you press in these two bits at the side and then you twist up the deodorant like that and there is your deodorant and then you wind it back down when you're finished so you don't lose any product and the packaging for these are completely completely recyclable made of all natural ingredients and you can also get a tree donation of a tree that is named after you i actually have one which is in australia but i will link my old website down below i also have the scent rhubarb and custard which is incredible i absolutely love this scent so i have repurchased this so yeah that is my current deodorant and one i will be using for a very very long time and they're also a fully sustainable registered brand which i think is incredible so the next item i have is actually a perfume i cannot for the life of me remember this name of the perfume but it is one of the ariana grande does it say on here no it's the, one of the ariana grande perfumes and it is oh, it's the one that comes with a little white ball but mine come off um but yeah this is absolutely incredible it smells like marshmallows I mean what more could you want it's very very sweet floral but it's also got that kind of candy scent to it so i absolutely love this and i'm still still getting through it but one of my favorite perfumes of the year so the kind of last couple of electrical items one is what i'm filming on which is my phone which is the iphone 13 just the iphone standard 13 i absolutely love it um i did get it in Ooh. September, October, I can't remember, but I absolutely love it. Obviously, I can't show you it as I'm uh, filming on it, but there is a full video unboxing if you are interested. I will link it down below. But the next item is actually my Alexa. <laughs> my Alexa speaker, she's a bit bashed up. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. I think this happened when I was moving. But this is just the standard Alexa speaker in the shade. I think it's light grey or slate grey. Absolutely love this. She's a little speaker. You can ask her questions. She's incredible, but... I'm sure you guys know what Alexa is, but she's been so, so helpful this year. She gives me notifications when I'm uh, uploading and all that sort of thing, but she's so, so cool. So again, I will link Alexa down below if you are interested. I'm going to have to put so many links in the video, but I want you guys to find everything. So the last sort of like physical items. Um, the first one is actually a key ring that um, you're probably thinking key ring. Um, Shanice. If you're watching this you're going to know exactly what i'm just about to talk about 
and this is the keyring that I got from Shanice in my gift box or the gift swap that we did so it has a little flower on and then you have the keyring and then it says true friends are like bright sunflowers so they never fade away even over a distant sort of time and I nearly cried when I opened this I've taken it off my keys but it, this lives on my keys and I absolutely love it and probably one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever received so I absolutely love this so thank you again Shanice I love it so the next three items are actually jewellery or jewellery I, I can't say certain words but I apologise um as I do struggle with my speech sometimes but the first two items are actually rings and I actually have a phobia of rings so you're probably thinking what I'm so confused I can't wear rings that aren't adjustable and by adjustable I mean ones that you can bend and shape to the size of your hands or your fingers so the first one I have if I put it on probably be easier for you to see it is this laying down skeleton ring I absolutely love this I got this from Etsy and he's just laying down and there's his little face so so cute I absolutely love this and I yeah I got it from Etsy um probably one of my favorite pieces of jewelry ever and the next one I also got from Etsy I believe Etsy or Amazon and this is my little skull ring again I'll put it on if I can there you go hopefully you guys can see that it's just these little skulls all have little faces very very cute but yeah i used to absolutely be terrified of rings until i found these adjustable ones and i wear these all the time so the last item i actually got when i was in newcastle um when i was up for the photo shoot if you don't know about that there's some pictures on my instagram or i can do a video about it just let me know in the comments and this is the goddess symbol and necklace and i got this from a little gothic boutique in newcastle so we have the goddess and the Wiccan sign in the middle um, or the pagan sign or whatever you want to call it. But this all makes up the goddess sign with the moons and the circle and the star in the middle. So I absolutely love this. I wear this all the time. It's probably another one of my favourite bits of jewellery. Again, it's stuck to me. I wear it to sleep. I wear it in the shower. And it also doesn't fade, which is incredible. So yeah, they are all the physical products, I guess. If you are still here then thank you so so much for watching it really really does mean the world um so yeah now i'm going to talk about the non sort of physical favorites so music favorite youtubers tv and all that good stuff so if you are still here then thank you so so much for the fact you've made it so far and i'm sorry if i've rambled on far too long so the first um non-physical favourite is going to be music and I have four songs that I'm absolutely obsessed with and the first one is the 30 seconds to Mars wouldn't change a thing with Illusion or Illison I can't remember his exact name but I will link if I can I'll link it down below but I may get done for copyright but I may just put the songs in the description if I can um the next one is a song by Freya Ridings which is Still Have You Freya Ridings I went to see this year for the first time ever i will definitely go a million times more she's absolutely incredible i love her to pieces she's got me through so many different emotional stages in my life so yeah still have you is definitely an incredible incredible song so if i ever manage to put them in the description definitely go and check them out so the next um song is probably something you may be all sick of but she's come back and she's better than ever and that is adele's new song easy on me i absolutely love it um, some of you guys may think you're a goth you're probably only into metal I actually listen to so many different types of music I listen to metal I listen to rock I listen to jazz I listen to classical I listen to piano stuff I listen to so many different types of music so sorry if you're a bit confused as to thinking I'm just goth and I only listen to metal that is definitely not the case so yeah Ease On Me by Adele such a tune if you haven't heard it then where have you been have you been living under a rock <laughs> And the last song is a song by Loving Calibre called We Should Start Right Now. And it's a very upbeat, happy, incredible song. So definitely go and check it out. So the next section, I guess, is the films, series and TV programmes. I don't watch a lot of TV, um, but I do watch some of the stuff on Netflix. So these are all from Netflix, apart from one programme. So the first one I'm going to talk about 
is a film which is the secret dare to dream this is on netflix i've mentioned this in a couple of other videos i think but the secret dare to dream is based on the secret the book the secret the magic and road less traveled i believe i may have that wrong so don't quote me on it but yeah the secret dare to dream is a spiritual film as i'm not religious but i am very spiritual very interested in um wiccanry and all that sort of stuff i'm not into the spells don't don't get worried i just like reading about that sort of thing so yeah the secret death dream is absolutely incredible it's on netflix you should still be able to find it i'm sure it's still on there so the next one is merlin if you haven't heard of merlin merlin is based on the great story of merlin and king arthur it is absolutely incredible i've watched it a million times but so so good and you can get it on netflix and now tv and possibly amazon prime as well so the next one is the witcher if you are into fantasy and all that sort of medieval stuff the witcher is incredible i absolutely love it i'm absolutely obsessed so yeah again if you made it far definitely check out the witcher if you can and the last one i have is actually a program which is actually on youtube which um a lot of the content creators that i watch were actually taken part in this and it is called foot asylum i have mentioned it in a couple of other videos so if you want to go back and know more about that definitely go back to my other videos i believe it's in a favorites video but the foot asylum they basically put 10 people in the house with no privacy um and no phones and all that sort of stuff and it's really really good so definitely go and check it out on the foot asylum channel if you are interested and last of all if you have made it that far made it this far then we are nearly nearly done i promise you and i just want to shout out some incredible youtubers that i've met on my journey so far so the first one is anastasia kingsnorth who actually took part in foot asylum i have never met the girl but i have followed anastasia kingsnorth for years and she is absolutely incredible i'm so so proud i don't think i've ever been so proud of a person i've never met <laughs> So the next channel is Shanice Reviews, or Courtney Shanice, if you know her, then go down to the comments and show her some love, go and subscribe, she's doing so, so well, and she's so, so close to getting her thousand subscribers, and I'm so, so proud of her. She does um, unboxings, reviews, subscription boxes, makeup, um, beauty, some lifestyle stuff, she's absolutely incredible, so definitely check her out, her link will be down below. The next um, channel is a girl called Lucifer. So Lucy or Lou, she is an incredible gothic YouTuber. If you're into sort of like the darker side of YouTube, like my channel, um, she's absolutely incredible. Um, she's going through a bit at the moment, which is a real shame. But if you go and subscribe and tell her I sent you, I'm sure she will be happy to know that you guys have supported her from me. She's a very, very good friend of mine. So definitely please go and... Um, show her some love and tell her that i sent you and tell her that i love her loads so the next channel is a girl called shannon rose i met shannon rose about three four months ago and she is one of the nicest and sweetest people i have ever ever spoken to i hope one day that we can meet properly um in real life physically um obviously because of the restrictions we can't do that right now but shannon rose is an incredible incredible girl she is a youtuber that has two young kids and also um her boyfriend and they vlog christmas day and they've done loads of family vlogs and they are probably the cutest little family on youtube i absolutely love them to bits and i love shannon so so much and i can't shout out enough she is just so inspiring and i'm so glad i've met you so if you're watching this i love you loads and keep smashing that youtube channel you're doing incredible and we are at the end of this video nearly guys just one more person to mention and that is toxic tears toxic tears as the name suggests um is a gothic youtuber or alternative youtuber um she's also going for a bit at the moment but she is doing so so well toxic tears i have watched for years she's absolutely incredible i'll link her channel down below as well of all the favorites all the products and also all the other channels but Toxic Tears is incredible. She's a gothic YouTuber. She does unboxings, vlogs. She's done some gaming, I believe, in the past. She's done some modelling. She's done all sorts of stuff. And she's absolutely incredible. She is one of actually one of the reasons that I started my channel. She made me feel that I could have a more alternative and gothic channel without being so judged. So I didn't feel as alone. Same as Lucifer. They've both welcomed me on YouTube and they are both incredible. 
so yeah if you've made it to the end of the video thank you so so much it really really does mean the world to me i love every single one of you and if you ever want to ask about anything i'm into or want to follow me on instagram it's just at rock Chick beauty it's always linked in the description i also have twitter and tiktok all just rock Chick beauty definitely go and check me out if you can and if you like this video smash this thumbs up if you are new and you enjoyed this video put in the comments that you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it either way feedback is great and yeah don't forget to turn that notification bell and i hope you all have an incredible 2022 as this will be my last video for 2021 and i just want to thank you all so so much for all the love support and just everything you have done for me in this year whether it's just been a hate a like a comment a follow a subscribe or just checking if i'm okay so thank you so so much i hope you all have an incredible new year and i'm proud of every single one of you stay spooky stay beautiful stay safe and i love you all. Bye guys.